Gail Westerfield is showing us a tape of her therapy session. She's under the influence of MDMA. I said I had a happy childhood, and when I think about it, I feel really like he wasn't that happy. That's MDMA. <laughs> Westerfield struggled with depression almost all of her life and a sense of being out of it. She says it goes back to a childhood assault and later being raped in college. I mean, it's embarrassing to be in your 30s and, and be afraid to go into your house, you know, or to, to be alone in your house. She was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder, but nothing helped her until she met Dr. Michael Mithofer, who was researching MDMA as a part of therapy. MDMA, of course, is better known by its street name, ecstasy. Take a look here, at least 99 different types of pills, as you see right there. When taken, it causes the brain to be flooded with neurotransmitters, especially serotonin, and that's the key to our moods and our emotions. Some doctors say it's the well-known effects of ecstasy, open alertness, euphoria, calmness, that could prove useful when it comes to therapy. Midhofer's pilot study involved 21 patients. Those getting MDMA with therapy saw more improvement in their mental well-being than patients who got a placebo. Just as important, there were no major side effects. Some illicit ecstasy users run into problems like a rapid heart rate and depression. I'm excited that we got this kind of result, but it is only a first step. Did it work? Um, oh, I'd say absolutely. I, I'm just going, wow, I can't believe I have this in my head. I can't believe it's in me. I had recurrent dreams since I was a little kid. It's like I'd be walking through a house and the lights would turn out, and then this force would overwhelm me. After the MDMA, um, I fought it once and it never happened again. Four years since the last MDMA session, the nightmares are gone. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.